football fans, another week of rankings, and here we are back at the whiteboard. Uh, not much has changed, but a little bit has changed, and there's some interesting things that have developed. So let's take a look. We've got our top 25 listed here. Again, Mississippi State stays one. Oregon's jumped Florida State to two, and TCU's moved up to four. The Orange Bowl has not changed with Clemson, Alabama. Alabama stays at five. Clemson is still the highest ranked ACC team. Um, and we don't seem to know a whole lot more here about our group of five, uh, which is going to affect the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, the Goodyear Cotton, and the Vizio Fiesta. Louisiana Tech won, Marshall won, Colorado State won, and Boise State won. The situation here in the Mountain West is Boise State beat Colorado State. They need to lose another game for Colorado State to even have a shot at winning the division and playing in their championship game. If Boise State wins out, they'll host the championship game in the Mountain West. In the case of Louisiana Tech Marshall, they're both undefeated in Conference USA. And if they both win out, they'll play each other at Marshall. Let's go through our three scenarios of these group of five teams. Scenario one, if Marshall was, and neither, none of them are ranked now, again, so we're, we're hypothesizing a whole lot here. But let's say Marshall is the champion, because you have to be a champion in the group of five to get the automatic bid and be the highest ranked. So let's say it's Marshall. In that case, the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl would get Ohio State number eight, playing against Marshall, would you have Baylor number seven playing against Auburn number nine, and you'd have Arizona State, which is number six, playing against Ole Miss number 10 in that first scenario. The second scenario, if Louisiana Tech beats Marshall, they would go to the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. You'd have Ohio State Auburn in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, Baylor Louisiana Tech in the Goodyear Cotton, and Arizona State playing Mississippi in the Vizio Fiesta Bowl. The third scenario would have either Colorado State or Boise State winning the Mountain West and being the highest ranked group of five. That would put Ohio State Auburn in the Chick-fil-A Peach. The Goodyear Cotton would have Baylor Mississippi and Arizona State would play either Colorado State or Boise State, the group of five represented. So those are your three scenarios of group of five. Remember, none of them got ranked so it's going to be real interesting down the stretch here because we've only got a few more weeks left to see who gets the highest ranking. And again, you have to be a champion to get that automatic uh, selection. One of the things we want to touch about is it's kind of become a little bit clearer as to who may have a chance to move up here. Uh, when you looked at ranked teams still left on the, on the schedule over the next few weeks, Mississippi State's got a gauntlet here with Alabama and Mississippi. Alabama uh, has Mississippi State at home, and then they've got Auburn at home as well. Arizona State still has to play number 14, Arizona. Baylor still has to play number 13, Kansas State. We mentioned Auburn, Alabama, Mississippi, Mississippi State. When you look down the road here, Florida State is probably going to play a Duke or Georgia Tech in their championship game. Uh, so they have to keep winning. Oregon is probably going to wind up playing, I would say, an Arizona State right now. And then TCU's got a pretty clear schedule about the, and not have a championship game. So TCU probably, because the body of work, is ranked over Baylor, even though Baylor beat TCU. Their non-conference schedule was a lot uh, healthier than Baylor's, and I think that's why the committees rewarded TCU, even though they lost head-to-head -head in a close game. Um, the, one, the one thing that's really interesting to be on the board is, in the case of Georgia, they've got Auburn at home this week. Uh, Auburn's ranked ninth. If they can beat number nine Auburn, then they're probably going to play, well, they will play Georgia Tech, which if Georgia Tech beats Clemson this week, Georgia Tech's going to move up. And then you've got the potential of them playing the winner of the West either Mississippi State or Alabama potentially in the championship game in Atlanta. And uh, so Georgia, with three ranked teams still to play, could find their way up uh, here at the end of the year and, and be real interesting as to how far they get and certainly from a geographical base could find themselves in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl based on their rankings. So uh, again, this will all change this weekend because you've got number one playing number five, so something's got to shake up there. Um, and so stay tuned for next week. 
Again, we hope that we know something a little bit more on the group of five. Uh, we'll stay tuned because it affects these three New Year's Six Bowl games and enjoy college football this week.